Hello beautiful Virgos, how are you today? Welcome to everyone, watchers, cross watchers, new visitors and subscribers. I'm delighted to have you here. I'm broadcasting from Chicago and I love to know where everyone is around the world. If you'd be so kind as to leave a comment and tell me where you're watching this video from. So you're probably enjoying music with a special beloved, but I feel as though the relationship itself is very harmonious and very beautiful, complex broken open so opening up that heart chakra opening up your third eye look at that energy of just opening to love and look at this seeing beyond again third eye psychic uh, abilities intuition um, sometimes it can actually mean telepathic communication with another Virgo, the overall energy coming into the reading is one of remorse and regret. So I'm not sure what's going on with you, but it there is a white dove of peacefulness here. This is Gemini energy. There's something that's happened or you've done or somebody else has done that has um, timing sort of just looks as though timing. This is the wheel of fortune. It is upright. It is bringing you good luck in a situation and your life in which you felt uh, has ended. So you're on a new path at this time. Ten of Swords is stick a fork in it, push it back, you know, on the table. You know, it's like a it's like a cake. I've had enough. I used to think it was sweet. I don't like it anymore. Boom, gone. Take it away, please. So the energy that we have here of your person in terms of what they're thinking. We see that they've released something. They've released an old wound, an old hurt, an old betrayal. They feel very fortunate in love again. They feel that you are bringing them good fortune. The Ace of Wands is a passionate new beginning. It speaks to the fact that your person wants to get to know you, know all about you. It's Virgo energy, doing the work of getting to know someone well enough, investing in them. The Judgment card is releasing a karmic... Um, situation or debt from the past which looks like a betrayal from another love somebody that they may have divorced quite literally when we get the justice card and the judgment card we oftentimes get the paperwork being filed for divorce the process of it and then the final release of divorce so it's not unusual right people want to date after they get divorced so it does look like either you or the person you're involved with is in that energy you both could be in that energy we have that your person, when they think of you, they think of somebody who's very smart, who's very gracious, who's very balanced, who uses good judgment, who's very passionate, very inquisitive, and hardworking. Strategic also, they feel as though you are the emperor card, that you have a lot of authority in your life, that you're very empowered, that you have a good job, that you're super smart, that you're really a cut above many. Above, really a cut above the rest because it's a king of the king's energy it is aries energy libra scorpio virgo and the five of coins is feeling left in the cold so your person is trying to heal from that we see this person picking up the pieces it really is more of a spiritual journey because warmth and love is all around you you just have to look to see it so we get the five of coins so your person is coming out of the energy they also feel as though you may have had your uh, trials and tribulations in life also so there's common ground there in their heart space well they love you ace of cups it looks as though they have not told you that they love you virgo here you are they absolutely love their virgo but we get the devil card holding the two of you apart at the present time. I do feel your person is uh, coming into the energy of breaking open their chakras. But right now, they're holding on a little bit too tightly to you as, as well as their old wounds. But again, we see this release coming. In their heart space, they absolutely simply love you, adore you. They feel smitten. They feel... Um, they feel as though they're fearful of head games. They're fearful of somebody trying to control them. They're fearful of somebody who might be cold and aloof. Now, it does show that 
they don't know, they don't think that of you they think that you are this this is what they think of you right here but i feel as though what's haunting them the ghost of christmas past if you will you know think of charles dickens and a christmas carol you know as he reviews his life in retrospect that that he had hurt many people and so what i'm seeing here is your person in their heart space is wanting to release that energy of old wounds and they will broken open assures that they will when we look at their intentions they're wonderful they do feel as though they owe you an apology sometimes i think that they take their time getting back to you communicating with you and sometimes they just feel sad and sometimes they need time alone um, so we see that sometimes they're always they're not always as verbally affectionate as you would like but your person has great great romantic desire for you this is love the movement of cups is a knight of cups somebody who wants to who sends you a beautiful love letter who brings a pic brings you to a picnic who brings a bottle of wine a bouquet of flowers they want to close out the old cycles of their life and they want to ascend with you your person really wants to have it all with you virgo the world card means also that this person could be from another culture and a different ethnicity another country but it speaks mostly to the desire to have a happily ever after relationship with you, that that is their intention. They see you as the beautiful and fiery. They see you as an incredible energy, somebody who's very dynamic, Aries and Aries energy. And it doesn't matter if you have Aries in your chart. What matters is the fact that they see you as very a person who is self-motivated, who's very successful in their own right, someone who holds their own, someone who's proud and fiery, and they intend to give you the best of what they have to offer. We get their actions. This person, now we've had the devil card twice. They are holding on to their heart. They are holding back from you. They are obsessed with love, but they are also daunted and fearful of love. The beautiful part of this is that we do see the breaking open the symphony and third eye as being the, the success here that's hidden in the reading. When we look at the spirit of pentacles, their actions are going to be very nurturing. They're going to provide for you. They're going to give to you in a very nurturing, quote unquote, the daddy card way. The king of cups energy, Virgo, somebody who loves you very deeply, someone who has very deep emotions, someone who has mastered the difficulties of life. They are very calm and peaceful on the outside. Even when things are bothering them inside, you don't always get to see it. The Heart of Cups. Now we have the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. So their action is to come into alignment with your divine relationship. They want to nurture it. We have the Ace of Wands, a new passionate beginning in love. The Five of Cups is here twice. With their intentions and with their actions, they're starting to recognize that they've brought a bit of depression into the relationship and they're going to kick it to the curb. I love it. In their actions, they're going to re really sort of, they're trying to control things, which isn't that helpful because it's devil energy. It can be toxic energy. But we see this person, here we go, breaking loose breaking loose, breaking out of that which holds them back, um, you know, escaping and healing that which they find fearful. This is an exquisite energy of deep love, of absolute intent to have a long-lasting, committed relationship with you. The king of pentacles is a married man the queens and kings are married by nature and that is the action they will move along in this relationship strategically as they heal they will begin to release this devil energy and come more in touch with their true inner self not the burdened wounded self that they've had in the past virgo this person loves you they find you delightful they find you powerful they find you interesting they absolutely have great passion and a great emotional response to you. When they're around you, it just heals their heart. 
they feel very much Virgo, as though you are fiery and desirable and successful, and they want to stand by your side for a very romantic love song. It looks as though the two of you may be geared to taking dancing lessons with the Queen and King of Cups with this Ace of Wands, a little salsa, a little tango, a little waltz. But whatever you do, Virgo, it is a time to enjoy music together. Uh, maybe even attend a, you know, a musical performance by someone that you both love. But at any rate, it really is a gorgeous reading for you. It is a time in your life when you're coming into union with a divine partner. It's beautiful energy and sending you love from Chicago. Uh, this is Donna, and I would love to hear where you're from, as I said earlier. I would also like to know if you have any deep topics about love that you find that you're struggling with at this time please if you do put it in the description box below because i could i'm trying to develop new reading topics maybe even for some dailies so i would appreciate that energy thank you so much for visiting today sending you love hope to see you again in another video thank you virgo Bye bye